Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to save and load data um, in your app in Xcode. Now this has so many uses, um, from games to just normal apps. Um, so let's get started. Let's go to File, New Project. Let's just select a single view application. We'll be fine. Let's just do um, saving data or whatever you'd like to call it and click next and click create we're gonna go right in it's actually quite easy we're going to the view controller dot h after the UI view controller we're gonna put brackets and close them and inside those brackets we're gonna do um, an IB outlet for a, a UI label and we're gonna call it label making things easy and we're gonna do one for IB outlet UI label and, sorry UI text field we're gonna call it field and um, that's all we need there and now we just need one action and to save the data IB action actually we need two one to save and one to load save data ID sender and copy it and paste it and change that one to load data okay so we can copy those two go into the view controller dot m and it's not so hard here so we have our two actions here and save data we're gonna um, do a string that stores the text of the field so basically we're gonna be storing whatever we input in into a string so we're going to do ns string um, save string equals space bracket field dot text close so what oh sorry didn't mean to put those brackets so basically what we're doing is in this word, you can call it whatever you like, is we're saving whatever the text of the field is. And now, we're going to save that by doing declaring ns user default. So we're going to do ns user default. We're going to call it defaults space equals space bracket ns user defaults standard user defaults close bracket so we just declared we're calling we're storing the defaults so we, we can easily access it by just saying typing this word defaults okay and now we're gonna go defaults set object and the object will be save string so we're gonna save string for key at and this is the key we can use whatever whatever you like in between the quotations we're just going to do saved string and this is the key we're going to use to retrieve it <coughs> to retrieve whatever we wrote okay so um, one more line actually we're going to do defaults we're going to synchronize okay so that's all we need in here and now to load it it's quite easy we can actually call uh, copy the NS user defaults this line of code here and paste it in so it knows what defaults is and we're going to do um, NS string um, load load string space equals space open bracket defaults object for key and the key is save string so we're gonna do type in save string or just copy and paste it so now we can use this to reload our data so everything that was stored in here is now stored in here when we want to load it so we're gonna do field set text 
load string. I'm going to do label set text load string as well. And if you would not want to have to press a button to load the data, we could copy all this and paste it into the void view did load right in here. And it would load it when the view opened. So I'll show you both ways. So we're done here. We're going to go into our view controller.xib. We're going to go and drag in a label, button, another button, and a text field. So let's put the text field up here and make it a little bigger. Um, drag in our label up here. Maybe make that a little bigger. Delete the text if you would like. And put our buttons. Nothing special, just put our buttons under there. Okay, so type this as save and type this as load. And now we're just going to attach things. We're going to go into our files owner and drag the field to the field, the label to our label, our load data to our load data, touch up inside and our save data to our save data, data touch up inside. Now we're going to run this and see how it works. So let's just type something. Hello world. We're going to save it. Let's quit and let's run it again and see if it loads it. After it's totally been quit. We're going to click load and sure enough it loads it. So let's do one more. Hello, friends. Let's click save, exit out, run. And sure enough, it loads hello, friends. Um, so now let's try it with a, a view did load. So we can totally just delete the action, copy it, and delete the action. Uh, copy this into there so now everything will load when the view loads and we can just delete this button as well so let's click run and sure enough when the view loads the text loads as well now to prove it let's just do hello and click run again and sure enough it loads it so, if you would like me to do uh, a more in-depth video, uh, how to load images and numbers and other stuff like that, just shoot me a message or leave a comment, and I will be happy to do a video on that. Um, so, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.